Hey guys, so yeah, more uh, information has been revealed about Generation 5. Um, as a lot of you know, the uh, more recent uh, Generation 5 news that came out was basically done prematurely, um, if you will, uh, by a online store site that basically leaked uh, images of upcoming MLP products that are scheduled to... Um, you know, be released in the fall, in the summer, in the fall of next year. And one of them, of course, was uh, a picture of a group of, a, a trio, I should say, a trio of uh, MLP characters that we have never seen. Well, now we pretty much have our answer as to who those characters were, because a lot of people, you know, pretty much already kind of figured it out that, oh, uh, we're going to get, you know, some kind of, Oh, we're getting more information as we speak here, guys. We're getting more information um, as we speak. It says, Emma Hasbro has just revealed another main character for the upcoming movie. And it'll be a male character um, as well. And this is all being done by um, the people within. But yeah, it's a new... Oh, and they got an animation. We got, a G, we got a GIF of the scene. So it looks like we're getting a male protagonist in here, part of the team. So you got to wonder if perhaps she's going to be a love interest for Sonny, for Sonny, who knows? Yeah, this is, looks, this looks uh, interesting. It uh, looks really interesting. So, yeah, it's a, it's a GIF, if you will. Are we going to get a trailer today? That's, that's what I'm wondering. We're going to get a trailer. So, <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, I'm, and I'm doing this uh, with my camera, not live or anything, guys. This is not a live stream or anything right now. This is legitimately being recorded with my GoPro as we speak. But let's see who this guy is, and we'll get into more information. It just says it's a, a male character. It says, new male main cast pony revealed, plus animated look at the pony. So we're getting a, a GF look at what the characters look like. So, it's going to be uh, really interesting as to exactly what it's going to look look like here. It looks like the unicorn um, is going to be a little bit of a, a fun one, if you will. And obviously, there's going to be more information going on as I talk about this. So, hold on for a sec while I get something. Okay, so I got more images here, and you'll probably see them pop up here on the screen, hopefully, without any problems. But let's talk about this for a, for a, uh, for a moment, guys. And um, basically, this is all information that came out courtesy of Entertainment Tonight as of yesterday. And this is the information that Celeste Throw, one of the head people at Equestria Daily, reported. And he says, and I quote, We are finally here. New information about the My Little Pony Fifth generation Netflix movie has been revealed by Entertainment Tonight. We have an art style, as you can see above, along with a full description of what you can expect to see once it pops up on Netflix uh, later, the, later in the year. This also confirms the characters earlier this week that have been flooding the draw, free, the draw Friend post as this was one of them. Basically, like I said, it's the bedding sheets that showed up and everything. And this is the synopsis for the movie, and I quote, In the new movie, the pony world of Equestria has lost its magic. Friendship and harmony have been replaced by paranoia and mistrust. And ponies now live separate, uh, separate uh, and ponies now live separate by species. Sunny, or as her other name is, I think it's uh, Sunny Scout, I think. Let me check again, guys, because <laughs> there's a lot of information that's been coming out lately. Will quickly as we speak, and I'll probably do another video later on, maybe a live stream talking about everything that comes out. But let's see, it's uh, her name is her name is come on, come on, where, where is it? Come on, give, give you says Sunny Star Scout, Sunny Star Scout. Okay, so basically, it says Sunny Star Scout, well, Sunny here. A feisty and idealistic young earth pony is convinced that there is still hope for this divided world, but her slightly misguided and often hilarious efforts to change hearts and minds have led to her being branded a, mis uh, branded a misfit. When Sunny befriends a lost unicorn named Izzy, and you'll see this image pop up with her and Izzy next to some royal guards, 
um, who wanders innocently into the Earth Pony Town of May of Maritime Maritime Bay. The town has had enough. Izzy and Sunny must embark on an epic adventure that would include a daring jewel heist, outrageous conspiracy theories, elaborate musical numbers, and the world's cutest flying par paramena. Paramena. So we're going to get at least maybe four main characters. One of them being male, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, at least that fills the void for Spike. You know, because Spike was the only male character in the main six, or main seven, main eight, if you will. The adventures will take them to faraway lands and force them to challenge the status quo by facing their fears and making new friends out of old enemies. The world Sunny has dreamed of her entire life could finally become a reality as Sunny and her new frown friends fight to prove that even little ponies can make a difference. Now, the design of Sunny, and again, you'll see these images popping up here. You know, a lot of people have already said it draws comparisons to a... Um, you know, uh, you know, to a, an MLP-inspired show across the seas that, that's come over here to the U.S. called Philly Fantasy or something like that. And I can probably understand that, but to me, it's definitely you definitely see the Friendship is Magic style in there. And what some people have even pointed out um, is the fact that, you know, you you kind of see a blending, especially with the um, information that was, that accidental uh, betting information that was put out with the characters that basically you kind of see a blending of G1 and G4 together. So that's pretty cool. And again, we have a new male character to be part of the team. And of course, we're going to get a Pegasus character that's going to have clouds for wings or something like that, which I think is kind of cool too. So obviously, as of right now, we're going to, we're going to get at least maybe four, maybe five characters. I would assume, if anything, we might get six characters. Who knows? Just to, you know, pay homage or stay true to what the original uh, uh, show was about with its main cast. So it'll be really fun to see that. And then again, you'll see the uh, image pop up here. This is the, this is our look at our first three main characters. And obviously this one, you can tell, this male character that we see, um, obviously he has to be a descendant of one of the main characters. I would assume he's a descendant of perhaps... I would, I'm going to go on a limb here. I'm going to say he's a descendant of Applejack. That, that's, I'm going to go with that. He's a descendant of Applejack or he's a descendant of Fluttershy. And you might say, well, that's kind of weird if he's a descendant of Fluttershy. But you got to think, of a, think about the fact that descendants sometimes are a lot more different, you know, in personality at times than their ancestors. So we'll see. He, he could be a descendant of Rainbow Dash. But then again, you got to wonder, well, Rainbow Dash is a Pegasus. How is that possible? You know, we, we'll have to see. But I'm assuming he's got to be connected to one of the uh, main characters. Uh, again, I'm going to go on a limb and perhaps maybe say he's a descendant of the Apple family. You know, Apple Jack, Apple Bloom. So that would probably explain that Apple Bloom maybe got together with, uh, what's his name, Taps, if you will. The the uh, pony named Taps. So, you know, that that's kind of interesting. Now, what's even more interesting about that, oh, about this whole scenario, too... Here's another article that Celestro put up uh, later on yesterday. And I'm going to keep refreshing this to see if we get any more information um, as the day goes on. But Celestro also did what he called an, an overanalyzing of the screenshot with Sunny Star Scout. Um, you know, that you know, was provided by Entertainment Tonight. Now, he does say, important note, the Generation 5 spoiler tag is now active. Click the gear on the neck on the uh, click the gear on the um, I'm trying to pronounce the word here. I'm sorry, I do apologize. On the navigation, yeah, sorry. Click the gear on the navigation bar at the top and tag hide generation five to hide these posts if you don't want to see them. Well, basically the spoiler post and all that. But again, this is over an analyzing deal. Here's what he says about this, and I quote. Many people have brought up just how much the picture revealed last night from the Generation 5 Netflix mo pony movie. Sunny here is apparently our main character this time around, so let's dive into her room in a slightly over-obsessed fan way, shall we? It says, and, and basically what it's talking about, is there's a lot of Easter eggs and references to G4, that's the connection. So here's what he says, and I quote, 
It's pretty obvious she's a huge Main 6 enthusiast. All around her room are cutie marks and posters of them. This seems to go along uh, oh, this seems to go along with what we know about her interest in bringing everyone back together now that the tribes are split again. She also has a big Celestia uh, canvas behind her bed, hinting that Celestia might be worshipped still, despite the synopsis hinting that leadership has long since changed uh, with the segregated nations. We also have quite a bit of Earth Pony friendly technology laying around, which is something I hope they really push as early generation 4 pony was always very charming with its horses struggling with manipulating objects with their mouths. It's something that was lost as the series progressed. It will be interesting to see how the Earth cities have adapted. Anyway, feel free to drop things you notice below, ex except a f expect a flood of news in a few hours when Hasbro's big event happens. And that's what's going on right now. And this will pop up as well. But this is what they're saying that they see. Um, let's see here if I can read this. It says... Uh, well, basically, let's see if you guys can read it better than I can. But, again, you'll see it pop up here on the screen. As a matter of fact, I'll pop it up myself here. It states we have, you know, in fact, you know what I'll do better? <laughs> Hold on, guys. I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to go to here. I'm going to open with pictures or photos. Here we go. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. Well, I am anyway, to kind of get an idea. This is the clues that they see. We have Earth Pony Friendly Light Switch, which is on the lamp. Praise the sun, even after Twilight's leadership, which is, of course, the Celestia uh, canvas on the back of the bed. We have, let's see what we have. We have Twilight Fluttershy rainbow pins, passable scout pins, or possible scout pins. We have digital clock technology. We have Twilight backpack. No cutie mark. We have Earth Pony Friendly Piano. We have Main Six Toys Normal Size Twilight. We have Rainbow Dash Poster. So those are a lot of uh, hints right there that you will see in the picture yourself when you when it pops up here on the screen. But yeah, it's really but yeah, it's uh, really interesting to see them, you know. You know, put those details in there so that, you know, there's no confusion whatsoever or questioning of whether or not this is, you know, connected to Generation 4, uh, The Friendship is Magic, in a continuity uh, perspective. Now, what it also does, uh, what it also does as well is it does kind of, and I, and I know some people may not be fans of this, but it does kind of go down um, the route that a lot of people you know, well, what I'm trying to say is it kind of goes down the route that a lot of people are not always fans of, and that is taking place in the future to where now uh, the characters of that we saw in Friendship is Magic are basically that of myth and legend. But I think with the image here that we see of, and it, the image we see here of, you know, Star of uh, Sunny and Izzy, and Izzy's a unicorn right here. You know, with, you know, with them being escorted by Royal Guard there, very similar in style to the Royal Guards we've seen in Friendship is Magic, that kind of gives me the indication that we will see possibly Twilight Sparkle, at least we'll see her, or we might see Luster Dawn, because, you know, if they're going to, because if last problem, because if the last problem is any indication of of basically the direction they were going to go in, then obviously Twilight was going to pass down leadership to Luster Dawn and her friends, just like Celestia and Luna had done to Twilight and hers. So perhaps you know that's what we're, perhaps that's what we're gonna who we're gonna see as like the main ruler of Equestria 
but not really anymore because you know you got the the tribes all separated and everything once again and we'll probably find out exactly what happened um down the line we'll probably find out what happened down the line now what's interesting though like i said as i was doing the video or trying to do the video originally with my canon uh uh, video camera before the battery died out and before I got interrupted by a phone call and now I'm doing it here on my GoPro uh, what was interesting is uh, another image popped up literally moments ago like according to this 919 to about I would say a little over 20 uh, 25 minutes ago which has this new male character it says Hasbro just revealed another main character from the upcoming Netflix Generation 5 My Little Pony movie. I figured I'd pop it up separately for all of you to discuss to discuss him. What do you think of the design? We will definitely be analyzing all of this later. So they're going to basically be talking about it later, like who this character could be and everything. And what's interesting is it's accompanied, and I'm going to pop it up here, so hopefully there will be no uh, problems or anything. But what we get here is... The animation, a teaser of what the animation is going to be like. And um, what I like about it is the logo they're using is the same logo that was established with Friendship is Magic. With, so it kind of gives you that connection of this is in the same continuity, this is in the same world, but it takes place years in the future. You know, in other words, in more modern times, like basically a, a, a timeline that's similar to what we're in right now as humans. You know, like, you know, because... And, I, and I, what I'm what I'm guessing is going to happen here is we're going to get a relate going to have a story. Basically, what I'm getting here is we're going to get some kind of you know idea of the fact that uh, basically you know just like well, well well what I'm trying to say is we're basically going to probably get something that can be a, a, um, you know a, a relatable in a sense in, you know from a real life standpoint uh, due to the fact that. You know, you have, you know, you have uh, the setting taking place in the future, but it's t in, well, it takes place in the future. It's, take place, it's taking place in the future to where, as I mentioned, perhaps everything that happened in Friendship is Magic, you know, is just now looked at as legends and myths. And the main characters are main, our main six characters, if you will, uh, right behind me, if you will. That you can see our main six characters are nothing but legends. You know that the adventures of, um, let me see, let me, let me get one here so I can show you. Let me see if I can get one here so I can show you. Um, let me go over here, <laughs> much easier. <laughs> or, or not. Uh, uh, oh, here we go. That I'll make, that the adventures of, you know, like let's say Twilight here, you know that and her friends, is now nothing but legend, and her encounter and that maybe her encounter with Tempest is nothing but legend, or stuff like that. That's what I'm assuming they're going to go with, uh, in a way that basically our main character, our main cast of characters from Friendship is Magic, and everything they've accomplished and achieved, to get peace and harmony back to. Uh, to Equestria is now myth and legend. That, you know, as time goes on, you know, things got lost. You know, and, you know, they kind of do reference that in Friendship is Magic, like uh, during Shadow Play. You know, when Applejack encounters uh, those uh, uh, paleologists, the archaeologists' ponies, um, basically, the, you got that one pony saying, you know, kind of basically scoffing at the fact of what Rockhoof did with the shovel to stop, you know, molten lava back in his day. And yet only to be, and only, but basically only to be proven wrong, not just by the fact that Applejack saves him from a big freaking boulder by pushing it, pew, you know, that way with her own hind legs and just cracking her legs like it was nothing. But then seeing the, the who, but seeing the shovel itself by, that was used by Rockhoof being real, you know, I, that's basically what I'm thinking they're going by here, that we're getting essentially a similar storyline to where um, all the characters, um, ba or basically everything that, you know, the main char the main cast did in Friendship is Magic is now nothing but legend. Because, you know, this version of uh, My Little Pony takes place years in the future. 
Like, it could still be similar to what we saw in Friendship with Magic, but it's more modernized now to where, you know, of course, you got digital clocks. You might have computers, stuff like that. So uh, it's going to be um, interesting to see exactly, you know, how much of a connection there is, you know, to it. Because we've seen shows and we've seen movies and mostly shows to where, you know, you have the newest show based based um are not based, but take place kind of within the same continuity, if not within the same continuity uh, of the original show. And you've had some kind of crossover, uh, you know, between, you know, both sides. I mean, one example, in my opinion, you know, is, you know, Extreme Ghostbusters. You know, despite how you feel about that show, uh, it was basically set in a way in the same continuity as the real Ghostbusters. And you had a crossover eventually. You eventually had the characters crossing over with each other for a story event, for a multi, what I think it was a two, three parter or something. And then, of course, speaking of Hasbro, you had the same thing with Transformers. You know, Beast Wars uh, takes place in the prehistoric past, but then we find out it takes place basically in the prehistoric past in which Generation 1 Transformers showed up in. So, so yeah, it's, um, it's really interesting. So, yeah, you know, it's not the first time we see this kind of stuff happening. And, you know, even back, you know, even with Beast Wars until it was later confirmed in later seasons, sometimes, you know, anything that happened, you know, in Generation 1 was always looked at as, you know, possible but mythical, only to be proven to be true later on. So I see that going on here with uh, Generation 5 of My Little Pony, not just with the movie, but with the series you know, as it progresses. Now, of course, they also advertise we have some new figures coming out, brushable figures. This just popped up. It says, the brushable line for Generation 5 has officially been reviewed by the via the Hasbro brand presentation. Uh, it captured, I mean, I captured the pic these pictures of a few of the offerings, including three different characters and multiple accessories you expect to dress them up in. This looks to be where they're going for the new mold this time around. So expect loads of char other characters in that style. And they have other pictures popping up as well. And I'll try to provide the image uh, as best I can. In fact, uh, I'm going to open the image and save it so you could pop so you could see it here on the screen. The, again, these just popped up. This is right now 8 4 851 in the morning. So again, I'm going to post these so you guys can see them uh, yourself uh, as well. Now, what they're talking about, possibly that the you know this being the style that you can see other characters be portrayed in, they're basically talking about maybe you know newer versions of you know the main six, main seven characters being in this style. So it's going to be really interesting to see what they do here. So again, this is just something that just uh, popped up. And already you got someone like uh, Ryan Johnson in the comment section here on Equestria Daily that's like, give me that Izzy figure. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see what they do here. But yeah, that's the, a lot of information coming up now um, as we speak. And, you know, I'm pretty sure more is going to come out. But yeah, this looks, this obviously, potentially, guys, looks like it looks really good. I, I'm willing to give it a chance. Because to me, the style of the characters is a blending of not just G4. You can see the big G4 inspiration, but it's also, you can see a little bit of G1 in there as well. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting and fun to see what they do with these characters. Uh, if there's any more news that comes out, I'm sure, not just by myself, but I'm sure people like Dr. Wolf and, and others like Mad Munchkin and Lightning Bliss and you know, and Silver Quill, and even maybe Firebrand will talk about this. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, that's, uh, that's all I can say right now on the Generation News, or Generation 5 News for MLP. We got uh, images uh, for what the characters are going to look like. We got a tease of what the animation style is going to look like. And now we got, you know, pretty much an idea of what the new uh, figures are going to look like and possibly the new molds for potential few, uh, figures based on our original cast. Is going to be like um, as well. So uh, I'm going to check one more time before I uh, turn this off, guys, so I can save some batteries as well as upload this as quickly as I can. 
but yeah, that's about it for right now. It's about 8.53. I'm sure again more information will come out. And if it does, I'll be back here possibly with a live stream to talk about it. And, you know, go from there. But let me know what your thoughts are so far. What are your thoughts on all this information that's come out? And by the time you probably watch this video, more information would have been released as well. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are. Comment down below. I'd love to hear what each and every one of you have to say about this. And oh, by the way, just, just to let you know, the, inf the other information that did come out, uh, courtesy of Hasbro, and I didn't print it out, but I'm going to talk about it right here, is the series, the TV series, will, you know, because I talked about this, I did a video on this, asking if Netflix will also be the home for the Generation 5 series. Well, guess what? That has been, courtesy of this uh, Hasbro Investor event, has been confirmed that, yes, indeed, Netflix will be the home of Generation 5. It will be the home of Generation 5, and it will premiere worldwide in 2022. That, that is basically the information we're getting. It says, The Adventures of Sunny Star Scout and Her Friends will continue in an all-new computer animated series coming to Netflix in 2022. So what we're getting here in 2024, I mean, not 2024, but 2021, is a it's basically kind of like what we had 35 years ago uh, with the G1 MLP movie, where it's kind of like serving as a pilot, you know, a pilot movie, and then later on, you know, a few months later or something like that, we got the series. I'm kind of getting those similar vibes here, but I think because it's connected to G4 and everything, you know, in the same continuity, same world, same timeline, but in the future, years in the future, uh, I think we got a potential winner here. I think things are going to be good. I don't think things are going to be... Um, I, I don't think... Honestly, I don't think there's going to be much negativity given to this. So, lo really looking forward to it and cannot wait to see, you know, how you know how it turns out and how it builds towards the series. And potentially, we might get our villain. Who knows? We might get a villain or so, uh, you know, as the culprit as to what's going on. It's just to the division between uh, the, the nations that caused the division, if you will between the nations um, of the unicorns, the Pegasus, and the Earth Ponies. And really, that's about it. Will we get a Spike Descendant? Who knows? Hopefully, maybe we will. Maybe this new male character, maybe he's maybe he's the son of, of Spike and Applejack. Or maybe, or maybe you know, I, I look at Izzy, maybe she's the daughter of, oh, well, not the son, but the descendant of Spike and Applejack. Or maybe Izzy, the unicorn here, maybe she's a descendant of Spike and Rarity. Who knows? Speculation is rampant. I mean, you look at someone like uh, Sunny Star Scout and, you know, you look at her main coloring and everything. And it's like, you know, this girl very, you know, this, her color scheme reminds you of Scootaloo. So who's to say? Did Scootaloo and maybe Rumble from Marks and Recreation get together? Who knows? Uh, but we'll have to see what happens you know, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that as time goes on, we'll get more information. Um, and again, I'll probably do a live stream later to talk about it. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are. Comment down below. What are you looking forward to uh, with, as far as this MLP G5 series is concerned? You know, what do you think it's going to give us? You know, do you think we'll get any idea of maybe the, these characters being descendants of, of our main cast? What are your thoughts? Comment down below. I'd love to hear what each and every one of you have to say about this. And again, I will be back later with a full live stream rundown of the information we get. And that's all I can say, guys. So until next time, God bless, take care, stay safe, and I am out.